So Susan, confusion continues in Lancaster County as two of the three commissioners and nearly a dozen lawmakers pushed for Lancaster County to reopen Friday while the governor says they'd be defying his orders and the leaders of the city and the leader of the city, Mayor Deneen Sirachi, says the city itself is not ready. Now, Commissioner Josh Parsons and Ray D'Agostino said the economic crush is immense and the hospitals have capacity to deal with COVID patients. So they say now is the time to move to yellow. But Commissioner Craig Lehman says more contact tracing and increased testing is necessary. And the sign and the sign off from health officials before the county can reopen is also necessary. In the city, the mayor goes even further, saying that there's a need for a plan on how to get PPE to business owners, and there's a need for a plan on how to retrofit their buildings so it's safe for people to come back in. She wants that in addition. Now, parts of these metrics are in a Lancaster County recovery plan, which is set to be presented to the Lancaster County commissioners tomorrow. We don't know how the commissioners will vote on that plan, but this is a portion of the $95 million that Lancaster County received in federal CARES money that came from the federal government that Lancaster County can choose how to distribute. When we spoke to Commissioner Parsons yesterday, he said he would like to use that money to help businesses reopen and also to give a portion of that money to nursing homes, which he said have been primarily neglected from the state. So it remains to be seen exactly how that money will be um, distributed, but that a plan is in place and will be presented. That plan has been instituted, has been created by the Lancaster County Chamber and the Economic Development Corporation. We'll dig in a little bit more to that later on today and find out, you know, what we can find out tomorrow about that vote and how that will affect Lancaster County reopening on Friday. That's the Lancaster in Lancaster County. I'm Meredith Jorgensen, WGAL News 8.